Team! 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 Team, how are we? Woo! How we feeling? Good? You know it's good, man. You know it's gonna be good. It's always a good stream here at Sally Berry Incorporated, where we ensure a cool cat for everyone. The thumbnails are Kappa. The thumbnail was really fun to make. This thumbnail, I don't know. I love it. I love it to bits. <laughs> <laughs> I love the cat. Because <laughs> we did have a discussion at one point. Should we go back to the stock image thumbnails? And everyone said yes. I had this one for the last one. I think that was pretty cool. A few others around the place. I feel like at the end of the day, you guys do love the stock images. <laughs> the absolute most <laughs> they are they are also the most fun to make i can definitely tell you that would you say making a thumbnail is the best part of making videos videos don't come with you know a title you have to come up with a good title and when you have 15 minutes of a video it's tough to come up with a title that actually works running through this one was was difficult i went with the idea of cool cat so i was like okay let me find a stock image of a cool cat with sunglasses i can also be wearing sunglasses and then the cool cat i found was lying down and i was like what if i had that wrapped around my neck and we called it, we called the video the cool cats or something, you know? Like that, that was the initial title of the video. So this was the stock image of the dude I used. This was, this was the cat. The first thing I did was drop my face in there. To a point where it sort of fit the brightness well enough. Then we dropped the cat in there. Back side of the cat, put it in the back. Take the front side of the cat, put it in the front. And then because it needs a glow, we add a little yellow glow around the, uh, top of the head and the back. If we want the cat to really make it look like it's sitting on my shoulder, we need more things. We need my face to look more in front of it. So we drop some locks of hair, the glasses, and just to make it a bit neater around the top, uh, then the title. Ba-boom. <laughs> a lot of fun to make, definitely a lot of fun. Uh, have you ever thought about voice acting? I did apply for the position of shoutcasting. That's an interesting one that I didn't want to tell the stream because I wasn't sure if I would get the position or not. And I didn't really want to tell anyone before it was confirmed. But the guys over at Potato Monster asked me to audition to be the voice for the top five. And I can show you an idea of what that sounded like. Philanthrope not only earns her number one spot this week, but also the title of the Lady of Clockwork with some impeccable timing. With Yasuo recalling and leasing down, Oriana's left on the battlefield with two allies who can barely 1v1, let alone 3v5. Master Yi forces the Hourglass's red team begin to collapse. Philanthrope brings the ball back in for a massive flash. That ain't Falco, leaving Olaf all alone. He tries to take down Oriana, but instead decides to take the walk of shame as he gets taken down. Let's slow this play down because I got a little excited back there. Oriana winds up the command shockwave and flashes mid-cast hitting four members as Sona crescendos three and we see red health bars just disintegrate as the Luden's echo command attack and command dissonance hit. How does editing work with a casting? Um, the editing is really tough. So the editing actually... Because what I didn't realize was these plays don't come with scripts. You have to come up with a script for the play that's not only entertaining, but is perfectly in sync with what's happening in the background. That was really tough. After you've come up with a script, it's a very meticulous process of making sure there are enough words and enough spaces for you to breathe and still deliver the content you want at the right time. That was really interesting. Uh, no. Uh... Save me scam. <laughs> so hear me out, hear me out. I've never played Jin. But how hard could it be? <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I think I have this. I think I got this team. Oh my god. Can I get healed? This guy not have heal? Did you not level up heal? Oh my god. Please, fam. <laughs> Woo! 
Okay, has anyone played- Okay, I'm sure all of you have played Jin before. This fourth bullet is the most satisfying fucking thing on planet Earth. Just fucking like- <laughs> Fucking gun him down like a degenerate. Holy shit, just fucking- <laughs> Every bullet. Ah! You hooked me. Thank God I have a Soraka. <laughs> I love Soraka. It's like, you fucked up, don't worry, dude. Don't worry, you're back to full health. <laughs> it's like you never need to leave lane. Let's stay. Could I legitimately play with six BF swords? Listen, hear me out. Hear me out. I know it's not the best item choice, but I feel like there's a chance. Is this what bot lane's like? I had a perfect lane and now everyone's here. Why is everyone here now? I was- it was going fine. Bot lane fucking sucks. It's fucking- you're just having a great time, you're enjoying yourself, and then fucking eight people just fucking Rek'Sai ulties in, top lane TPs, mid runs down with Talia wall. Holy shit, things were going so well. Just get flashed on from every angle, fuck that. Should I ulti these nerds? I feel like I should just fucking ulti these nerds, you know what I mean? Just fucking shoot the bad men here. That's the sound my gun makes. Wait, kill him. Give me my assists! No, now I want kills. I'm angry. Hey. Okay. You see, I feel like the best gin player can also make the best gun sounds. You gotta go like... You know? You really gotta, you gotta really, really feel it. You gotta feel it in your giblets. Come over here, I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna fucking shoot you this shit up, dude. I'm gonna fucking... Give you a hell, dude. Gonna fucking Mickey Mouse is that you know. Mickey Mouse is more like ha ha. Hi, Mickey Mouse. Ha ha. Do you think Mickey ever got laid? I feel like Minnie was a s cheating slut. You know what I mean? Like I know she was a Disney character, but I don't trust the look of Minnie, dude. Did Minnie ever have her own spin-off TV show? That sounds like something Disney would do. We gotta empower women in the industry. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he got laid with Pluto, yeah, yeah. Minnie cheated on Mickey with Pluto. Wait, is Pluto the dog? <laughs> Jesus, Minnie! Not cool! You fucked a dog? Is that legal? Where does Minnie live? In which state is bestiality okay? The dog likes it. <laughs> the defense. We need a diagram for your thought train? Oh, you guys would love my thought train. <laughs> this fucker has taken everything. As long as you don't harm the animal by having sex with it. Oh. When people say bestiality, what do they mean? I didn't think I would just fucking murder that guy! Holy shit! This fucking- This fucking- Shot him dead! <laughs> Dude, being an ADC is awesome! What the fuck have I been doing on weekends when I could've been playing this? Fucking sitting around playing Lee Sin for six years? What am I, an idiot? Holy shit. Could've been shooting the bad men my whole life. It's like Overwatch. It's- I don't know why it's called ADC when it should just be called Shoot the Bad Men Simulator. That's a way better name. Hey Sully, what did you get up to today? Oh, you know, just shot the bad man. No. Every fucking bullet. And we also talked about Mini sleeping with Pluto. But you know, that bitch is a- is a- is a definite slut. Out of all the Disney characters, who's the most likely one to have been a stripper? Which Disney character was most likely to be a stripper? I think Tweety Bird? I think Tweety Bird definitely could have shaked them feathers, you know? Shake that tail of hers. I wonder what getting a lap dance from a bird is like. I feel like it would just shit on you. Maybe you're into that. I don't judge. The rabbit? Jessica Rabbit? Nah, Jessica Rabbit was a refined lady. I only picture Jessica Rabbit being the accountant for how much money those movies made. Man, being an ADC sucks. I don't feel like I can make any decisions. I just gotta wait for my team to like pull their shit together. And if they don't, I can't do anything. <laughs> I don't really know what to do now. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay! What do we get? Fuck! 
No! You son of a bitch, get back here. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking end you. Shh, shh, shh. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody that I'm gonna freaking destroy your life. <laughs> Aw. I had that, it was so easy. What are your thoughts on eating ass? No thoughts on eating ass? Just wanted to get your official response. I mean, I've never done it. Nor is it really a turn on for me or something I'd really want to do. But I don't know. Maybe I'm into it. Maybe I'm into having my own ass licked. I've never had it done. It might be fun. Who knows? I can't say I've ever had a desire to eat ass though. Not necessarily because like... Oh, you know, the stigma of shit comes from it. But more because, like, I can't imagine it being fun. You know, like, a wet asshole seems more like a pain. It's, it seems like, you know when you get a bit of splashback in the toilet? And you're just like, <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, Sally, get your shit together. <laughs> get it? That was, a, that was a pun about shit. <laughs> ah, kill me. Hella stigma. Break those culture chains, yeah. But I do, I do know, like, some people, some people love eating ass, you know? Like, they'll lick from clit to crack. <laughs> they'll fucking, they'll go up and down that shit all day. They love the idea. I, personally, I'm not into it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's not that I'm not an ass man. It's just, there's better places to put my tongue. I say, why not both? perfect voice. I'm glad this is the conversation we're having, though. I want people to come into my stream for the first time and see that. Asses are a lot more convenient, seeing as you can just look at them without getting caught. Have you guys noticed that? If you're taller than your girl, when you guys hug, that gives you ample time to look over her back at her ass, and you're just like... Nice. I've given away our secret, boys. 